Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Father Mike Perucho, Associate Director of Vocations and Archdiocese of Los Angeles. And I first and foremost just want to say Happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully, as we break into the Word of God today and do this reflection, you're watching this not by yourself, but with family and friends. Because that's one of the great beauties of Thanksgiving. Gathering together with our family and our loved ones to give thanks to God and to recognize how God continues to speak to us. And so for our reflection today, we're going to take it from one of the options for the first reading, coming from the book of Sirach. And so let's just take a moment once again to recognize that God is with us, that he is present amongst us, and let's open up our hearts and ears to his voice. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, my friends, as we look at our Thanksgiving celebration this year, I'm sure many of us would say it's very different than last year because our world has changed. Our lives have changed in so many ways. And for some of us, we may be asking the question, well, what am I to give thanks for? Sometimes when we look at our world, our society, there's a lot of anger and frustration. There's a lot of disunity. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of sadness and a lot of fear when we allow those things to enter into our hearts we allow those things to guide our decisions and our choices but even in the midst of all of that my friends there's always one thing that never changes that's always a constant presence for us and that is our loving God that is the love of God that continues to be poured out, that will never change, that will never diminish. It will always be in abundance. And when we look at God, when we look at Jesus Christ, when we look at the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, then that moves us away from all of the things of this world and to into a place of love, of goodness, of peace and of joy. Our reading today was a beautiful one where we were invited to bless the Lord because when we do, my friends, notice what happens. He will grant you joy of heart, joy of heart, not fear of heart, not sadness of heart, not anger of heart, but joy. Because about recognizing that ultimately God is in charge, that we are dependent upon our loving Father, and that when we put our hope, our trust, our faith in Him, that He continues to grant His blessings upon us. He continues to open up our eyes to see how He is truly present, continuing to move us forward, continuing to help us Endure everything that we experience, but also to do things according to his will. According to his will. And that is something that we are invited every single day to ask ourselves, what is the will of you, God, in my life at this moment? What is the will of you, God, for my life as a whole? And that's where the beauty of vocation which I've reflected over about so many times, is so important. And that's what continues to help me in my vocation as a priest. As I sit back and first and foremost, give thanks to God for his blessings and then recognize the great joy that comes in my vocation. At the same time, my friends, on this Thanksgiving day, I think it's also important for me as a priest to give thanks to those people in my life who have continued to help nourish my vocation. Yes, of course, ultimately and firstly, God, who continues to bestow his grace upon me. 
But also over the last nine and a half years, there's so many people that I am thankful for. I'm thankful for my family because of their great love for me. My home being the first seminary where they taught me so many great and wonderful things and how that has helped form me into the man I am today. I thank God as a priest for the communities I've served, the various parishioners, the different ministries I've been involved in, because they've reminded me about what it means to continue to be a humble priest and to be a servant leader in helping them and lead them in holiness. I'm thankful for the religious sisters and brothers in my life. Because one of the great things they always remind me about is how they constantly pray for me, pray for my vocation. And through their prayers, how I receive that grace to help me go on another day in doing God's will. I'm thankful for our discerners and our seminarians, these wonderful men who are constantly open to God's will and continue to say yes as best they can, reminding me of my yes, of why I first said yes to that call and how I say yes to God every single day. And I'm thankful for my brother priests, my brothers who continue to serve and walk with me in ministry, who continue to challenge me to grow as a holier priest each and every single day. And as we gather in fraternity, as we gather in friendship, we're united in that joy of Jesus Christ. Each of us, my friends, as we look at our lives and look at what we are called to do, are invited to say first and foremost, thank you, God, for being there for me. And then to look at those people, those experiences, those blessings that will continue to nourish and strengthen you, that will continue to give you that great joy so that you can serve God, you can serve his holy church, and you can always do his will. On this great day of Thanksgiving, as we come together once again as one, may we give thanks to our loving God and in return, be filled with that love, that peace, that happiness, and that joy. God bless everyone. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Pray for me and know my prayers for you. Amen.